Matter of fact, I was the only person with a luggage bag there. Everybody was looking at me like, who the hell is that with the luggage bag? <laughs> my uncle called me. I don't know if anybody got this in your family. You got one person in your family that everybody called when something going wrong, somebody needs something. He called me one day. I answered the phone like, hello? He said, your turn, and hung up. I was like, who is this? <laughs> like, what you mean, my turn? And then he called me up. He called me back and said, look, man, my brother died, and, you know, I told him I'm on vacation. You got more money now, so you're gonna have to be the one to take care of everything. So they all gonna call you. They're in the living room now, they're meeting. They're gonna call you on speakerphone, and they're gonna ask you for the money. I said, what? And then you hung up again. I'm like, damn. <laughs> so then I get the next call, it's the whole family. They all, <laughs> they all in the living room. They're like, look here, uh, I know you heard that your uncle died, and uh, we all came up with all we can come up with. You know, Between all 15 of us, we was able to come up with $94. <laughs> All we need is 9,744 more. Like, what? <laughs> I was mad because I'm like, this dude, like, he was on drugs the whole time, and he stole from everybody. So, like, we finna pay for a funeral that somebody that owes us money? That don't make no damn sense. <laughs> then I feel bad, because then my grandmother, she, you know, that's why I paid for it. That's her son, and she was sad about it, and she was crying, and she was hurt. I'm like, all right, Grandma, I got you. I don't care about the rest of everybody else. I'm doing this because this is your son. This is for you. Then they called me back. Well... Your grandmother don't want to fly because she don't like to fly nowhere. Somebody had to get on a Greyhound bus with her <laughs> for two days all the way down to Mississippi. I said, let me say this. She's my grandmother, so that's your mama. You know what I mean? That's two different things. I don't have to ride with y'all. Y'all can put the grandmother on me. That's your mother. So they did. So now we're on this Greyhound bus. I don't know if anybody ride the Greyhound bus recently. Greyhound ain't not like how it used to be. You know, the Greyhound was beautiful. It was nice. It's the scariest place to go to now, the Greyhound Station. Matter of fact, I was the only person with a luggage bag there. Everybody's looking at me like, who the hell is that with the luggage bag? <laughs> Everybody else had grocery store bags tied up with their clothes in it. <laughs> I get on there, I'm a grandmother. <laughs> she want a snack from the, you know, they got the little snack places. That, first of all, don't ever buy a hot dog or anything from a Greyhound Station. You don't know how long that hot dog been spinning. I walked over there, the, the hot dog had a mustache and a face. I'm like, it grew into a person. I think it worked here. <laughs> we get on the bus. It's a good ride now. You know, nowadays, you know, it ain't just regular patrons on the bus. Sometimes they have people who just got out of jail randomly on your bus, which is the scariest thing in the world. And my grandmother just kept trying to speak to everybody. She's trying to pray for people, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, grandma, you can't say nothing. These are convicts. Let them be, let them mind their business. She's like, no, he needs my prayer. She started grabbing his dude hands. Howie Mandel, stand-up extravaganza.